Hello guys and dolls, and welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Arisen from the flames like a phoenix. Before we get started, roll those credits, and let's get into it. So, today's video doesn't have a sponsor, but it does have a really, really nasty little theme. So, on September 14th, um, we were hacked. So, somebody managed to gain access to our Gmail account. I want to be clear, our Gmail account already had uh, two-factor authentication on, but we weren't using pass keys at the time. Somebody managed to get full access to our um, Gmail. They managed to change all of the pass keys. They managed to change all of the recovery keys, all the recovery phone numbers, the lot. They then set about publishing a bunch of videos of game hacks and game trainers to the channel. Um, and they started editing previous videos to uh, remove titles and everything else. Contacted Google. Google told me flat out there was nothing that they could do. Flat out. They were like, there's no, all of the recovery information was changed. So there was no way to verify who we were. Um, the channel and that Gmail account were just gone. They weren't ours anymore. Um, so we put a post out on social media saying that, frankly, we were kind of done. Um, we've got most of our videos backed up, but there's five years worth of videos, some of which are of questionable quality. Um, and, uh, and frankly, me and Mike felt that we don't have another five years in us to, to start all over again. Um, we had several channels reach out to us, some very big channels, uh, some not so big, who put us on to the YouTube partner program. And YouTube actually reached out to us to say that we, we actually think we can get both your Gmail and your channel back. They verified IP addresses. We had some phone calls. And the next day, we were back in. And then, on the 20th, somehow, they gained access to just the YouTube account. So we had, at this, at this point, we had enabled all our pass keys, turned on advanced protection. Um, we'd gone through and made sure that all the previous sessions had been cancelled where they were in Sao Paulo and Russia and Brazil and all sorts of other places. Um, we'd cleaned out all of those. And, uh, and then somehow a new manager account got added to the YouTube channel. And they started removing, deleting videos en masse. So they started by putting up a message saying, if you let me use your channel for a week, um, we will, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you alone after that. To which we obviously replied, absolutely go do one. Wanting to reach out to us on Telegram and a bunch of other stuff as well. Never bothered. No point. Ha you know, what could he possibly say? Oh, it's all right, I'm only going to screw over your channel and subscribers for a week, get you a bunch of community strikes, probably get the channel banned, um, as well as running an objective scam where he was trying to get people to donate to different charities that were obviously just his. So, so we managed to get him kicked out yesterday. Um, and today, the 21st, we have managed to undo all of the damage that he'd done. So all of the previous videos that were deleted have been restored. All of the previous videos that were edited with titles and description changes, um, they are all back. 
And from what we can tell, he's now locked out. Um, and he can't get back into the channel. That being said, the YouTube Partner Programme are continuing to monitor the account. And we're continuing to monitor it as well. Generally speaking, the attacks are happening at around 1 o'clock in the morning, our time. So it is taking us a little bit of time to be able to actually wake up, notice what's happening, come downstairs, change the passwords, change the pass keys. It's exhausting. It's very obvious that the target of his attack is the channel. Um, he is specifically trying to post these game hack videos. Um, so we're working now with YouTube and we believe that the channel is now secure. We have done what we could to, um, to, to limit the damage that he was able to cause. We have re-authenticated everything, set up pass keys and moved to more secure ways of logging in. But is that the end of that? I, I, I don't know the answer. Most people have told me when I've said this is, you know, this is what's happened. I, you know, I work with IT security people. They say, yeah, YouTube has actually been aware of an ongoing cybersecurity issue for quite some time. And they are helping people to get their channels back, but they're not doing much to prevent it. I don't know if that's true. Um, the YouTube Partner Program has really made sure and looked after us to make sure that we could get everything back, and they've done an excellent job at doing that. They have responded incredibly quickly, um, and they've reacted really quickly, and they've restored full access to the channel, as well as restoring the lost content. I suppose the problem is, is that I can't now guarantee this isn't going to happen again. We are not a large channel, right? We're, we're 20 odd thousand subscribers. We've worked incredibly hard to build out that little community of people who watch our videos and enjoy what we do. To have that taken from us was a real, that was a really hard moment to go through a real emotional moment um, when me and Mike were writing that social media post about hey we're actually done um, that was really difficult like really difficult harder than I was expecting it to be um, yeah that was that was really that really sucked so look we're secure now I believe um, we're continuously monitoring the account. We're continuously talking to YouTube Partner Program. And we just wanted to let you guys know what had, what had happened. The small saving grace is that we're not going anywhere, right? We've got the content back. We've got the channel back. We've got full access. We've locked stuff down. We've enhanced security but we're still not sure how they got in to begin with. And that's the problem. So a lot of people have said things like, oh, they send you fake collaboration contracts or invoices that you then open and they can steal session cookies and things. I've looked back in all of our emails. We don't have any. We don't have any. So it's bizarre to me that they managed to get in, change everything, um, lock us out and then somehow do that again after pass keys were turned on. So look, if you've got advice on how we can keep the channel more secure, I am absolutely open to whatever that needs to be. Um, if there are different things that we should disable, then again, let us let us know. We're currently using Google's pass key which requires our phone to be in Bluetooth range of, a, of our computers to be able to log on. Um, but is that actually secure enough or is there something else we should be using? Should we actually just switch back to Google Authenticator or should we, you know, should we remove recovery passwords? I don't know. Um, I think we've done everything that we can and hopefully, touch wood, this is the end of this particular saga and we can move forwards and as a community we can carry on growing.
if you do see any weird videos coming up outside of the normal weird stuff that we do, um, please, please report it, comment, do whatever you need to so that we can, um, so that we get notified as soon as possible. We can try and jump in and see whether or not we can get things removed. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for sticking by us. Thank you to everybody who reached out to us with genuinely kind words during a time that me and Mike found incredibly hard as we watched five years worth of work just get erased and abused. Um, so thank you everybody who reached out. It really did mean a lot that you showed that you cared during that time. But we don't end on bad notes here. We have a load of new videos coming that we've been filming. Um, that we've been holding off on for various reasons that we will be publishing very soon. So thank you, thank you very much for sticking with us. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe because it really does help us as we grow. And we will catch you on the next video. Here's to the next five years.